Hey everybody, Jeff Garage Maker Guy, and this time it's going to be a short video, kind of a follow up to the track call, big red buttons that are uh, installed on my track, and I get a lot of questions about them. So, anyway, track call button basically all it does, it's also called a D slot button, all it does is it gives people the ability to pause the race and get their car back on the track and then uh, press the button and the race continues. So the way that that works is, um, you know, so we have the car going around and I'm gonna press the button. Red flag, race pause. Okay, so, and then that's what it looks like when it's working right. Sorry for the crappy video, this is on my phone. Um, and then after everybody puts their car back on the track, you press the button again. And it restarts the race. And we can continue on our way. So, sounds simple. It is simple. However, very important thing when dealing with mechanical switches. There's a thing called debounce. And that's what we're going to get into next. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And so this is a going to be an example of why switch debouncing is important for those of you that, that don't know. And it's, it's not obvious unless you've worked with electronics and, and stuff. So, anyway. So the way that this whole track call button works is with the Leonardo board, which is essentially just a keyboard emulator. It can be used for other things, but in this case, for the track call stuff, all we're doing is we're using that Arduino board. When this red button or any of them around the track are pressed, that signal comes into here and basically these are the the two wires from the switches and this goes to ground in my example i'm using pin seven and that tells the leonardo board to send the keystroke of a space bar uh the same thing as hitting the space bar sends a space key to the software via the usb cable and it tells the race management system that somebody has pressed the start button and that causes the race to pause so sounds pretty straightforward right you press the button once it sends a, a space key and all is right with the world but in actuality if you don't add demounts uh, code to your to your software you can do it with hardware but why do it with hardware when you can do it with software it's so much easier so this is an example of how it works when it's done correctly. So here's Notepad. I've got it set up to send in the letter A because it's a lot easier to see. So I press the button once and I get a single A, right? I can press it. Every button press equals one letter. Seems simple, right? Well, now we get to see it without bounce stuff so I'm gonna press this button once right watch notepad um, that's a lot of A's so you can imagine what that does to the computer that's expecting a single A to come across a single key stroke but this thing because there's no debounce circuit every time I I press the button even if if I go really quick I'm still getting way more than one and if I actually hold it down for a little bit um, you can see what that does so that's with the wrong code I'll show you the right code in a minute okay so now we can see the code for the with the the debounce so as you can see it's a lot more involved so that simple function uh, of sending a single spacebar uh, keystroke to the Arduino board from a mechanical switch, if done right, is nowhere near 
as simple as the original code that has no debounce. It's only a couple of lines long. So I will I'll go ahead and take a picture of this and include it in the video. Um, I was going to just copy and paste it into the description. So you guys could just copy and paste it into your Arduino um, compiler. But YouTube doesn't allow these brackets and eh. anyway, if you guys want a copy of this, I will, um, I can just send me an email. I'll include my email in the uh, description below and uh, that's going to cover the, the details on the big red button. However, in the future, I'm going to add um, the little relay that will turn on a big flashing beacon. So um, that'll come later. That's just a bell and a whistle. It's just kind of a fun thing to do when uh, you, somebody presses the button, the light goes and, and blinks and stuff, and uh, that should be fun. So hopefully this is helpful. And uh, let me know in the comments, uh, you know, if you like it, if you didn't like it, or uh, what you'd like to see. Um, like, subscribe, all that happy crap. And uh, be safe, have fun, drive a slot car, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Take care.